Since making the switch to Mercedes, Lewis Hamilton has become accustomed to being the favourite to win most races. After adapting quickest to new rules at the start of the hybrid era in 2014, the Silver Arrows were the dominant force in the sport. However, that's no longer the case. Another major car design rule change has seen them slip behind Red Bull and Ferrari in terms of car performance and left them unable to compete for victories this season. Hamilton has made no statements about when he intends to retire, only that he'll decide when the time is right. But with Sebastian Vettel announcing that this season will be his last in Formula 1, it's left fans thinking, when will Hamilton hang up his helmet? Well, fans aren't the only ones considering this. Toto Wolff is reportedly making plans for a future without Lewis Hamilton. A source has revealed that Mercedes are looking at enrolling Ricardo as a reserve driver for 2023, and coincidentally, Hamilton's contract with Mercedes expires in 2023. With Ricardo as a reserve driver, it opens up the door for Ricardo to replace him in 2024. Now, George Russell has left everyone impressed since joining Mercedes and is leading Hamilton in the championship. There's been much speculation on whether Russell will become the number one driver for Mercedes, and if Ricardo joins the team in 2024, this will probably be the case. However, Hamilton has cast doubt on Daniel Ricciardo joining Mercedes in any capacity, insisting a reserve driver role is not what's best for the Australian. When asked if Ricciardo, who will be replaced by Oscar Piastri after an underwhelming period at McLaren, would be a good addition as a Mercedes reserve, Hamilton said, I think he should be racing, personally. I think he's far too talented and he's earned the right to be amongst us all racing. If he's part of our team, that'd be great, but a third role is not really what's best for him. Hamilton added of the eight-time race winner, If I was managing him, he'd be racing. Now, Hamilton revealed that failing to win his eighth Formula 1 title in 2021 may have changed the course of his career, as winning would have made life a different place. He admits having to live with an uncompetitive car in 2022, having failed to win last year, is a driving factor that's keeping him motivated to continue in the sport, which wouldn't have been the case had he emerged from 2021 as an eight-time champion. I think if we'd just won last year, then we would win this year. Definitely life would be in a different place and you'd be on a different course. I love that it's gone through a phase even harder. We've got to pull through that thick slog and get to the point where we are a little bit lighter and we're floating a little bit more. So yeah, I would say that it's encouraged me to stay longer. Plus, I'm feeling fit, I'm finding ways of feeling better physically. The mental challenge is a consistent thing and that will always be the case because that's how it is for us athletes, we're on the edge. But right now, where I am in life, I'm really grateful for the opportunity I have here. I like to think I still deserve a place here, so there's lots of work to do. In recent weeks, Hamilton and Russell have come close to challenging for victories on high downforce smooth circuits like Zandvoort. But even then it wasn't to be, with defending champion Verstappen in imperious form. The priority for Mercedes is to nail their 2023 car development so they're back where they want to be next year, but they must finish the remaining six races of the season. After being in the winner's circle for many years, Hamilton admits he's dealing with his current situation with great difficulty. It's really just about taking time to sit back, reflect, figure out what you can do better. As athletes, we are super determined, we don't like to lose, we don't like to fail. Failure is not an option, but sometimes you do and that's part of the process. It's how you then don't beat yourself up or beat yourself down. It's how you take it on, put it on your back and use it as experience to power forward. And it's not easy, it could take you one day, it could take you five minutes, it could take you multiple days. These past few days have not been easy and I don't take lightly mistakes that I make. And some people will be like, well don't be so hard on yourself, but that's how I've got to be the driver I am today. Hamilton has won a race in every season he's completed since making his debut in 2007. In 2022, the Mercedes driver's record is at risk with Max Verstappen dominating proceedings with Ferrari being their closest challengers. Hamilton remains the only driver to win a race in every campaign that he's competed in. He admitted ahead of the Italian Grand Prix that he would like to maintain it by claiming at least one win in the remaining six races. We have to be realistic, that Red Bull is almost unbeatable. It's going to take some real doing to beat that car. Performance-wise, they're fully ahead of everyone. Now, Mercedes have brought upgrades consistently throughout the campaign to improve their car and have made big strides since the first race in Bahrain. But Hamilton feels they don't have the scale of upgrades that will allow them to overtake Red Bull, who are well ahead of the competition. 
We've not caught them. We don't have upgrades coming to overtake them. So it's going to take some fortune going our way. It's not impossible because we could have beaten them maybe in Budapest. Asked whether Mercedes will change their radical design for 2023, teammate George Russell said, I think nothing's off the table. For sure we've got a pretty unique design with the side pods. It's not off the cards that we will continue with that design, but it's equally not off the cards that we will completely change philosophy. But ultimately, whether we have the wide side pods or the narrow side pods, that isn't the performance differentiator. There's more to it. Mercedes did not expect to perform well at low downforce high speed circuits such as Spa, Francochamps and Monza. And while Russell said the team knew the underlying reasons, he explained there is no overnight solution. I think we understand exactly why at circuits like Zandvoort and Budapest why we were competitive and we understand why at circuits like Monza and Spa we're uncompetitive. That doesn't mean that we can solve the issues overnight, but we've got to keep on developing this car and next year will be sort of an evolution of this and I think now we do have a totally clear direction of how to develop the car. Mercedes trackside engineering director Andrew Shovlin stressed Red Bull has built the best concept on the grid. Mercedes have admitted they're still exploring different concepts for their 2023 car and have hinted they could look at Red Bull's designs. You'd always say that the fastest car is the one that's got the best concept, so, you know, today that's going to be Red Bull. Where that goes into next year is difficult to say. Certainly, we as a team have not fixed what our car is going to look like. We're still exploring different concepts. That process will go on for some time, but we're just looking for what will give us the best development opportunity in those new regulations going forward. Shovelin's statement comes after several comments from Mercedes that suggest they're looking into the Red Bull system. A few weeks ago, Mercedes technical director Mike Elliott also suggested the team would be looking closely at the Red Bull design. He added that Mercedes mechanics were now asking themselves what the Red Bull bodywork does and why it works. Elliott warned it could be possible to see changes either this season or at the start of next year. The Iranian Constructors' champions are just 35 points behind Ferrari in the Constructors' standings, with both teams hoping to fare better on the streets of Marina Bay as the Singapore Grand Prix returns this weekend. So, is it possible that Mercedes can be as competitive next year as they've always been? And if Lewis manages to win his eighth title, who knows, maybe he'll say goodbye to F1. Do you think Mercedes will be able to compete for the championship again next year, or is it just downhill from here? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Now, if you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel, and don't forget to click the bell button to be notified of future videos.